Hello, this is Sir Steve showing you another um, helpful little guide for the Archipelago multi-world uh, multi-game randomizer. Uh, today I'll be looking at getting Muse Dash set up. <clears throat> for information on Muse Dash, you go first to supported games, go to Muse, and this will have all of your links needed, such as um, how the game will work, how the setup process goes, and the options for setting up the lobby. First thing that we would like to do is go to the setups page. From here, it will automatically scroll you down to where you'll be able to set up the randomizer. Now, what you will do is you'll first need to find out where your game is downloaded, as well as getting this melonloader.installer.exe file. To get that file, what you need to do is just go to the GitHub page here. Open it on up and get this file, Melon Loader Installer EXE, if you run on a Windows machine, which most of the time people do. If you run on a different file or run a different process, you can also use any of these other examples. Click on that, it will start a download. Have it saved. Here, we'll be able to get the game all figured out. Now, what this will, now what this is requiring is you to be able to find the Unity game in question. For us, it will be Muse Dash. So what we'll now do is open up our Steam, go to library, search for Dash. If we right click here, go to properties, then go to installed files. Click on this browse here, will show where the files are located. Just like that. And this we're going to need in one second. Because what we'll do now is select the Unity game. Launch it, I've already done it before, but you would just be able to grab this, copy it on over, paste it right there, let the .exe file, hit open, then install. I've already installed it, so, no need to worry about that. <clears throat> Once that is done, you'll be able to close out of all of these things. Go to where you have your games stored. Hey, sorry to interrupt Steve, but you accidentally forgot one other important thing. One last thing you need is to make sure that you have the Muse Archipelago mod from the GitHub page downloaded and installed in your game files. To do that, click on the GitHub link. We'll bring you to this lovely page, select on the Archipelago Muse Dash zip file. Be able to open that right on up. Go to where you have your browser page or your browse files are. Right in here, click on these nice little mods tab. Open up the file. Grab these, throw them right into the mods. Once you have that done, then you'll be able to launch the game. Sometimes it does like to run into error. What I've found is that if you give it a second try though, or just on third try, third time's the charm. It'll run this nice little file here. Game will launch right on up. Show this happy little watermelon doing a thing. And then it will launch into the game. That's not damage our ears too much when it starts up. Why I always like to go full screen, but full screen. So now what we'll be able to do is see this blue show archipelago login. From here, we will be able to put in the information that we use once we create the game. Create the game in Archipelago. We will go back to the supported games list and select options page. On here, we'll be able to make the settings, such as adding your player name and all of the other information that you would like. You can make it so that the game has more traps for completing songs. There's a uh, higher song counts, starting song mounts, and all of that other information. 
now depending on how you want to play it if you just want to have this one as your only randomized game you would then select the option of just generate game or if you're playing on saying sending over a yami file or yaml file you just select this select this uh export option and you'll see the the name that you put in for the player name dot yaml and that'll be used for later on to generate the game just to show an example i'm going to do a quick ge game generation the number is set there's its spoiler log there create a room wait for the computer to generate the lobby i'm going to grab the server name of that archipelago.gg followed by those numbers go back to the game here put that into the to the address and port the name is just the name that uses the username and from here we click login and now enter it will show all of these songs available and then what we need to do from there just play the game and enjoy it other than that i've got nothing else for you guys hope you have a good day good night good whatever other time it is see you next time